for medical students, we call ourselves space occupying lesions because we're usually just bumbling around, taking up space and not really contributing to the care of the patient. It feels as though we're in the way and sometimes that feeling of being useless really just gets to me. So the thing about studying medicine is that eventually it starts to consume your whole identity. You end up spending every day in the hospital and then when you're done with the hospital, you go home and study some more. And so eventually it feels like there's less and less of the outside world that's in your life and eventually it's going to take away your whole life. And every time I'm a bit slower than what my expectations are, I feel like I'm not going to be a competent doctor at the end of the day. And that's scary when you have to take care of someone else's life. I think mindfulness has been very helpful in helping me realise that there is a world outside medicine. And it's helped me come to terms with my own emotions, my own insecurities, whether I should pay attention to them or not, and how I should avert them. Because at the end of the day, I'm not just a medical student. I'm also human. I'm also someone's son. I have to take care of myself as well. I think people growing up during this time have to deal with multiple catastrophes at the same time. You know, you wake up and you scroll through social media and it's just another onslaught of terrible news. It can translate to a greater feeling of worthlessness and uselessness because you can't impact the kind of change that you want to see. Mindfulness brings us an acceptance of our lot in life if we are able to quiet your mind and reflect we will be able to understand how much of the troubles that we carry along with us cannot be changed by us. And if it cannot be changed by us, why should we worry about it? Hi, I'm Chester. I'm a fourth-year medical student and I'll be sharing at the Singapore Mindfulness Conference on 23rd August. See you then.